we welcome you. And now it's going to be your turn to let us know what's happening at Renaissance. Introduce yourself. We're happy to have you. Hello. Um, my name is, first of all, I would like to thank Superintendent Dr. Baker, board meters, and LBUSD staff and guests for welcoming, welcoming me to this board meeting. My name is Matthew Taylor. I am the current uh, vice president of Renaissance, Renaissance High School for the Arts. I am a senior. It's my last year. Um, I went to Renaissance. I went to Renaissance actually to learn how to play video, uh, create video games, but I discovered a love for painting and agriculture. Um, I am graduating with the hopes of attending Stanford University, and uh, my pathways are arts, um, <coughs> visual arts, uh, performative arts, and entertainment. Um, I've done all four years of drawing and painting, and I'm currently taking AP art, and although I feel I am far from perfect, I think my imperfections help bring character, personality, and um, give uh, give character to the works that I create for our community. With that being said, I would like to start off with our Renaissance year, starting with pre-registration and orientation, where we provided food, games, and music for all of our new students, as well as plenty of old and returning students, seeing their, getting that uh, blast from the past, visiting their old school. Um, we helped build a stronger sense of community with the people in our area, having uh, big events such as our College and Career Center and concerts and shows hosted, hosted by the same staff, and members, staff members and teachers that we see in our halls and in our classrooms. Uh, annually, we also had our Halloween Fest this year. It was a great outlet for our many artists and students to express themselves uh, and show their stuff, show what they've been working on, show how they've grown and their creative process and performances. Performances from our school's many different clubs, uh, all relating to the, to the Halloween season, of course. And we've even had uh, events where we've invited family and loved ones to our campus for things like Feast with Family and uh, Eating with Loved Ones. Um, our February Spirit Week is also well, it's actually this week, we're celebrating Valentine's Day as well as Black History Month, which will end in a Black History Month celebration in which different arts strands will perform pieces celebrating black culture and artists. Additionally, in co collaboration with other small schools in the district, we just recently finished our winter formal where us and about 500 students from other smaller schools uh, dressed, up and <clears throat> dressed up in a masquerade themed winter formal and had a great night of dancing, games, and fun. And we look a lot forward to working with those same schools for our prom in the near future. Uh, at Renaissance, we, to circle back, we really strive our college and career center. Uh, I'm in there pretty much every day working on things like my FAFSA and tr sending transcripts to, to high school is a very tedious and important process that everyone has to go through, every senior has to go through. Um, this year, members of the community from the arts industry and other career fields were guest speakers sharing their journey to be successful persons that, um, to our students. We had a meet where we had, oh man, we had a Disney representative, we had props and makeup representatives, we had business corporations, uh, plenty of people coming down and spreading to the community their knowledge of how they got into their fields and how they grew to be the people they are. Um, it was very interesting to see people from professional industries that some of our students hope to get into uh, in the flesh, getting to see them you know, exist, knowing that they're real and knowing that it's possible. I could see a lot of smiles and happy faces on that day. Uh, really helps bring the real world to high schoolers. Um, as for the things we do artistically, each strand has events showcases that their hard work throughout the year. Um, one of the more recent ones, well, it hasn't happened yet, but it's coming up, is our um, AP art portfolio showcasing in which AP students such as myself and many others will have to um, show off 15 pieces that they have created over the course of their senior year. Um, very similar to a museum showing or a gallery exposition. Uh, a great way to kind of uh, give a taste of the real world to the, our students and visual and our performing arts consist of 
um, perform jazz performances as well as orchestra performances, uh, solo pieces, um, covers, and whatever our students deem their best work. Giving a small performance to the school staff and teachers, as well as queuing in to letting them know that they are very serious about commitment to colleges and colleges and uh, their futures. Uh, our vocal music has participated in the Oceanside Jazz Festival, the Bob Cole Honors Festival at CSULB, along with uh, our dance crew, dance and stage crew at the Belmont Shore Christmas Parade and uh, the Spring Pops show in March, which we will be attending, the spring, as well as the Spring Choral Concert in May. Um, our dance department also has had many shows at uh, theaters for at the Pauley and Wilson theaters, and we, some of my closer friends, are actually uh, venturing off into their own separate from school dance performances with other programs. Uh, our theater is putting on the Spring Musical Festival, or the Spring Musical Freaky Friday, and all of our performing arts are collaborating together to perform in the Spring Musical. Uh, at Renaissance, we encourage collaboration between pathways to further cement the idea of teamwork and commodity. When we put on a musical, it's not just, oh, these theater kids get to shut their stuff. It's theater kids doing their thing, music kids helping them, art kids making posters and um, flyers. It takes help from everyone in our school to make these things happen. Um, and to end, I would like to thank by giving props to all of the Renaissance students, uh, some of the most smartest and bravest and talented people that I know go to that school. Um, the passion to flow and thanks to, uh, I wanna give a thanks to our teachers as well. Ms. Papp, she's over there, my math teacher. Um, <laughs> uh, it's people like her that are the reason I feel I have a chance in this world. It's people like her that are the reason I feel I can um, make it as an adult and things like college become a little less scary. Uh, encouraging our students in a space made for them to grow and flourish to their best peoples. Uh, go Phoenixes. <laughs> well, thank you, Matthew. And is that just something you threw together like on your way in or something? No, <clears throat> that, that sounded like a report you had worked on for a while. And we are so happy to hear all that. Um, you mentioned uh, having your site set on Stanford. Yes. And would you be pursuing an art education at Stanford or something else? Yes. I am, um, I'm practicing to become a painter. Sorry, sorry. I'm practicing. <laughs> uh, I'm currently studying to become a painter. My, my dream is to have my own exhibit when I'm older. Okay, that's fabulous. Um, <clears throat> Dr. Benitez. Matthew, uh, since you stepped up here for your classmate, I commend you for uh, coming in today. Um, and you're getting a good sense, actually, of democracy, civic engagement, uh, and the history of our labor movement. So it's a good night for yes. you to be uh, here. I, I, um, we are currently trying to figure out and conceptualize what to do with some Prop 28 funds that are supposed to go right into arts and music. So given where you're at right now and where your aspirations are at, do you have any suggestions on what our district could do more of to support students uh, pursuing arts, uh, music? Well, something I notice is a lot of art students are very creative and they're very um, perceptive and uh, arts kids aren't really the richest in town. But um, Struggling with financial problems and learning to grow from them is something I see a lot of students do on a daily basis, but it does have its limitations. I've seen kids have to scrap projects, have to uh, cancel dates because of work or cancel performances because they have other obligations simply due to lack of finances. I think a lot of kids, it's not so much they won't be able to accomplish certain things, but Accomplishing those things is a lot harder than it needs to be, and it's a lot more tedious. Something as simple as putting on a show or getting the paints to paint a wall, it, it becomes a how am I going to do that with money and more of a how am I going to do that with my own skill. Um, I feel a lot of the students at my school lack the... lack the... Um, hmm 
trying to think of a perfect word to use. I think a lot of the students at my school lack the confidence to pursue certain or to take risk or pursue uh, different mediums simply due to financial restrictions. Yes. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you. Our, our chief financial officer is listening intently <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, here. Thank you for that. Yes. Uh, colleagues, anyone else? Oh, I just want to say that um, Stanford will, will be very lucky <laughs> if they have you. Yes. So, yes, um, you're doing a great job at school. It sounds like there's a lot happening at Renaissance. And again, I think uh, Stanford's going to be very lucky if they take you as a student. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Otto? Sure. Is this your senior year? Yes, this is my senior year. Great. Have you had an opportunity to visit the campus yet? Um, I'm waiting for my spring break because I have a lot of other like, extracurricular activities that I have to keep up with. But I think that first week of spring break, I'm going to go check Great. it out. Great. Is there anything in particular that uh, attracted you to Stanford as a place to go? Well, my first thought when I was th looking at colleges was I don't want to stay. <laughs> okay, that sounds... Okay, I'm not gonna say that. Um, my first, my first thought, first thought, thought was I would like to see somewhere new, um, and but I still wanted a lot of my family is in Long Beach, so I didn't want to leave the state. Uh, I figured San Francisco would be a nice uh, breath of fresh air, and I was looking to the school more and more, and the program seemed to fit what I want to um, pursue in life. You, you'll have to watch Mr. Benitez or Dr. Benitez here, who will before you leave trying to uh, get you to go to UCLA. <laughs> yes. But congratulations, you sound like you're on a great path. Thank you. Yeah. Mr. Miller. Well, first off, thank you for presenting today. On, I'm assuming short notice, how much time did they give you? Um, I was given this speech like half an hour ago. <laughs> wow. Well, that's called super short notice. Yes. And so, uh, well, first off, thank you again. Uh, one of the things that I was just appreciative of from the speech and just the way that you uh, spoke, a little improv from time to time. I, is am, that, I am the captain of my school's improv team. There we go, <laughs> right? I, and I can sense that, right? And, and it's, that, I think that's one thing that makes Long Beach unified and some of our high school campuses so gosh darn cool is that each one of them has their own little culture. And I think the culture at Renaissance is just palpable. Yes. with creatives and uh, improvisation it's like actually you just showed today. the second time I've had to improv a speech this week. <laughs> right. so, well, sir, you I've did. Got, I've got my practice in. Yeah, yeah I was sure. going to say you've done it magnificently. And uh, once again, I think you represented uh, the Phoenixes quite well. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Another round of applause, honestly.